Welcome back to Tip Tuesday, everybody. Good to be back with you. Hi, Ryan. Welcome back, everyone. Hello. So, Ryan, let's educate our audience today. How do we, in this crazy world of real estate, determine how much a buyer can qualify for when applying for a mortgage? Yeah, you know, we have clients ask us all the time, how, how much, how do we determine how much we qualify for? So the short answer is your debt to income ratio. You know, the debt to income ratio or your DTI, that takes all of your monthly debt that you have, right? And it divides it by your gross monthly income. So your gross before taxes, if you're W-2 wage earner, you know, is, is what it is. If we take the gross before any of that's taken out. Self-employed, it's a little more complicated. We have to use it after your, you know, your taxes are, are taken out or your expenses are taken out. So it could be a little bit different. So most mortgage programs average a max of 50% debt to income. So they allow all of your monthly debts, you know, and your new mortgage payment to be no more than half of your monthly gross. So as an example, you know, if your household makes a gross of $100,000 in W-2 income, we divide this by 12 to get that, that monthly amount, which comes out in this case, in this example, to be about 83.33. So to determine the max loan amount you qualify for, what we do is we make sure that your mortgage and all of your debts isn't over about $4,100, because that's that 50% that we were talking about. So let's say you have maybe $1,000 in monthly debt, you know, maybe car loans, credit cards, student loans. So if you subtract that, that gives you about $3,166 left over for that new mortgage. So we'll know when we kind of work backwards that that would probably give you about a $450,000 purchase price range. So, you know, if you want to get approved for more, for example, you could do two things. You know, you could either lower your debt by paying off credit cards or a car loan. Or you could increase your income, like getting a co-signer, like we talked about in another Tip Tuesday, you know, taking into consideration maybe a possible pay raise or bonus income. So that's in a nutshell, really. That, that's an example of how we determine what you qualify for. Really great tip, Ryan. Thank you, as always. Reach out if you have any questions, you guys. Our information is in the show notes. Have a great week. Thanks, everyone. Bye, <laughs>